It is Saturday, September 3rd, and this morning in our devotional, it says, improve your performance. And what it's talking about here is improving your, um, your time with God. Um, so let's, let's read what it says. Matthew chapter 6, verse 34. Do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 6. The Lord your God will personally go ahead of you. He will neither fail you nor abandon you. Psalm chapter 86, verse 11. Teach me your way, O Lord. I will walk in your truth. Luke chapter 12, verse 28. If God cares so wonderfully for flowers that are here today and thrown into the fire tomorrow, he will certainly care for you. Psalm chapter 139, verse 1 through 3. O Lord, you have searched me and know me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Proverbs chapter 21 verse 5. The plans of the di diligent lead surely to abundance, but everyone who is hasty comes only to poverty. And Job chapter 36 verse 5. God is mighty, but despises no one. He is mighty and firm in his purpose. And at the bottom, it says, There is never enough time to do everything, but there is always enough time to do what is important. Plan ahead so you don't have to set aside the important things because urgent things are taking up your time. Plan to spend time with God. Plan to make time for your marriage and your children. Plan to take a break and rest sometime this week. Ask yourself where your priorities aren't straight and start planning there. And that's good because I do, I do hear people say, I do hear people say, well, I don't have time to read my Bible. And, um, you know, things like that. Um, we, we should always put God first, okay? Um, he should be first every single day. Um, if, I know I've said this before, even if you have to get up a little earlier than than you're used to, it ain't God worth it to have that quiet time? Isn't God worth it? He's done so much for us. The least we can do, the least, is spend a little bit of time talking to Him or reading His Word during the day. The least we can do. And I know you all have heard me say, too, that it, it's, it's like a marriage. Um, if you don't talk to your spouse, if I didn't talk to my spouse, we wouldn't have much of a relationship, will we? And our, rela our walk with God is all about our relationship with Him. So spend time with Him. Make time for Him. He should be top priority above all. Okay, I love you guys. As always, give me a thumbs up or thumbs down even. If you don't like, give me a thumbs down. Like, share, and subscribe um, if you enjoy these videos. Uh, I am working on a video, an actual video video. <laughs> I know it's been a long time since I've done an actual video video, but I am working on one um, that I think people ought to know uh, that I feel God wants people to to realize and understand so 
I am working on it and I will get it out to you soon, hopefully. But uh, keep us in your prayers. And as always, I will keep you all in mind. And I hope you have a wonderful and blessed Saturday. Bye, guys.